What's up guys? Today we need to talk about your life. I've got a few things I want to share with you about the decisions that you made 10 years ago manifest today. And I don't think a lot of people understand the importance of not wasting time. The decisions that you made 10 years ago is why you are where you are today. I don't think you understand how important because right now I've got my phone number up on my channel at Savage Finance and I have a lot of people who are calling me who are in the beginning phases. They haven't really done anything. Hear me and hear me well. Starting a business is not rocket science, but it does take a tremendous amount of effort. You got to put in that work. And there are many, many people who are not putting in that work who want to have a conversation because they are unsure of what direction that they want to go in. So they want to talk to someone. They want to validate their ideal before they put in the effort. And I'm here to tell you, fail. Go ahead and try something. If it doesn't work out, those lessons that you learn are invaluable. Those lessons that you learn will be part of your success story. Because one of the things I see and consistently, like I got this fool, Trey Nino, who wants to have a conversation with me. I'm busy. The fact that this Trey Nino is pestering me, trying to talk to me on Facebook, he wants to have this conversation. This tells me that Trey Nino is a foolish person who doesn't have no business going on because I got business going on. I got things I got to do. I got people I'm trying to help. I got consults. I, I'm busy. I don't have time to sit down and talk about some BS. I don't have the time, but let's take Trey Nino. He is so passionate about an activity that produces zero money zero returns, zero dividends. He wants to go hard. And I'm going to tell you why for the trade Ninos of the world and the people who are like trade, Nino, you invest in BS because you don't have faith and confidence that you can be a capable producing human being. So you move to the lowest denominator. Now, remember what I said about those decisions that you made 10 years ago. Look what happened to me. What happened when this pandemic started? What did I do? Since all of you are watching everything I do, pay attention. I went hard in the paint. I started creating more content. I started doing more live streams. I created a course. I did more. I made the decision to do more. I did not sit. I didn't panic. I was like, we're about to go through a chaotic period. And in every area of chaos is opportunity. There's so much opportunity right now. If you're willing to work, if you're willing to do what you need to do, there's so much opportunity. You need to make the decision to do more for all you people who watch every move I make. And whenever I stumble, you'd be like, ha ha, he's slipping. He fell down. Ha ha. So you can feel better about your sorry ass because you ain't doing nothing. There's this quote, and I love this quote, those who criticize you are always doing less than you. And this is the case with the trade Ninos and other people who are like him, who really don't understand the game. When I was in that boarding house, I understood that I was making some bad decisions. I understood that actions that happened before I landed in that boarding house, actions that happened before I was homeless, happened before and I was in that bathroom in that boarding house. I was looking in the mirror and I was like, you got to change. You got to change, man. And at that moment I made, started making better decisions, but here's the thing. I started making better decisions, but I did not see the manifestation of those decisions until six months down the line. It's like working out. It's like losing weight. You got to start in July if you want to lose the weight by December. You can't start in December and get where you want to be in December. 
it's not going to happen. So I'm doing this video to inform you that the decisions that you are making today are going to lead you to where you're going to be 10 years from now. So hopefully you're making productive judicial decisions. Hopefully you are doing good things because if you're not like, I'm not trying to pick on anyone, but I've been homeless. So I know what can happen if I drop the ball, if I don't work, if I don't do with things that I know what can happen. I've been there. Many of you have not. And sad to say that many of you are going to have to hit rock bottom before you get it. Before you get that, you got to make better decisions that you got to. There are many, many, many people who have gone to prison and after being in prison and going through that horror that they finally did it finally sink in that, Hey, I got to live my life differently. Many of you got to knock your heads for you to understand that that's going to hurt. I can tell you, I can lead you. I can point you in the right direction. I can put up these videos like, People want to discuss my position on hip hop, ghetto culture, and the predominant uh, black people marketing the department. My position ain't going to change. We could talk to me all day. You know why my position ain't going to change? Because I have seen over the last four decades the harm and carnage that these things have caused. Someone's like, you know, hip hop makes a lot of millionaires. Prostitution has made a lot of pimps millionaires. Is that a good thing? I don't think so. So just because it makes money doesn't make it good. How do you make your money? Do you make your money in an honest, respectable way? Or do you do some sleazy and dirty and illegal? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm just doing this video to illustrate y'all that right now you need to start making better and productive decisions going forward because what's going to happen? And mark my words, if you make bad decisions today and exhibit bad behaviors today, what it's going to do in your future is not going to be good. It's just not going to be good. You have a choice in the manner. You have a choice in the activity. You have a choice in whether you're going to be a hero or you're going to be a zero next 10 years. Cause here's, here's the thing, whether you prepare for the next 10 years or you don't, the next 10 years are coming and before you know it, you're going to be 10 years older and you're going to have to look at your life and see what you've accomplished. One of the things that you guys have got to understand. And one of you got things you guys have got to, facilitate and begin to accept is you got to make better decisions. You've got to do the appropriate thing for the elevation of your life. Because I'm here to tell you that one of the things that I consistently see, there are many, many people who want to start a business and they don't know where to start. And that's cool. That's honest. You don't know where to start, but they're trying to have conversations with people to where they should start. And there is more talk than there is activity. Once again, for all you who watch me, what did I do when this pandemic started? I went hard, created more content, created a new YouTube channel, created a new course. I was producing. So if you're going to watch me and you're going to watch everything I do, pay attention to everything, not just when I stumble and fall and make a mistake. I must, you know, I'm going to say something. Your life must absolutely suck if you get happy when someone fails. On this channel, you've never heard me talk about how when women hit the wall, like there, there's some dudes who love it when women hit the wall and they lose their sexual powers and yeah, 
Winners don't speak like that. I don't want, I, I don't get happy when someone loses. I'm like, man, that's unfortunate. That's bad. I don't have no joy for anyone losing. I have no joy for anyone making a mistake because I'm a mentally healthily adjusted adult. I want people to win. I applaud. Like I saw this young guy and he had a Rolls Royce and I spoke to him. And I said, man, that's yours. That's hot. That's cool. How'd you get it? And he's like, yo, you know, I'm doing rap and I produce beats and stuff. And I was like, good for you. Congratulations. And he was like, man, thanks. You know, a lot of people be hating. I'm not a hater, man. I'm rich too. All right. All right. We dapped it up and we had a good conversation. See, when you elevate yourself, you don't have to hope, wish, pray, and get happy when people fail. I see someone in a Rolls Royce, I'm like, good for them. Congratulations. I'm not a hater. I see someone living well, doing well. Congratulations. Because I'm not a hater. Because I'm a healthy, mentally adjusted adult that is winning in the world. And I love to see people win. I'm not waiting for someone to stumble. I'm not waiting for someone to fall. I don't, I have, I derive no joy from seeing someone that I don't know that's done nothing to me, stumble and fall. Now for someone who's messed me over it. Yeah. I take great pleasure when they fall. Cause right now there's a situation that's happening with someone who uh, screwed me over and life is a dumpster fire. And I'm like, ha ha ha. Yeah. You know, if you mess me over or something and I see you fall. Yeah. But just for someone I don't know, no, 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 no. That, that's loser mentality that you get happy. Like me and my YouTube channels, like I started YouTube channels. I got people on my butt like, oh, you started YouTube. You, 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 if you didn't have hustlers Kung Fu, but see, I do have hustlers Kung Fu. There's no if. I do. And I got Savage Finance, which is another successful YouTube channel. And I'm working on some more because here, here's the thing. The decisions that you make today will manifest into your reality tomorrow. And I know that if I just keep trying and that this is one of the things I'm not afraid to fail. I'm not afraid to look bad. I'm not afraid to make mistakes. That's why I win so much. I'm not afraid. I'm not scared. I'm not going to create a situation where I'm going to become paralyzed with fear that I won't try something new. See, many of you out there are scared to try. You're scared to dream. Therefore you're scared to do. And one of the things, that is going to happen for all of you people who are sitting on your hands, looking for the cheat code, looking for easy money solutions. You're going to be in this perpetual loop. Like right now there's a scam that's going on. There's this guy, he's running this ad and it's this, and it's a TikTok video, but you don't know. He doesn't tell you it's a TikTok video. He's sitting there. He's saying, congratulations. They're hooping and hollering and looking at the computer screen. The girl got accepted into the college of her choice. It's a total scam, total scam. Stop, stop, stop looking for the easy way out. Sit down, make good decisions and begin to do the work. Cause I'm here to tell you, you know, for all of you who watch me and you, you, you don't say nothing when I'm winning. <clears throat> Like you don't say that. It's like, Oh, he fell. Ha ha. Lyndon fail. Ha ha. If all you feminine men who try to get me on these tertiary, stupid little talking points, God bless you because you need help. You, your mama didn't hug you enough. You don't have no affection. You don't have none going on in your life. One of the things I want you guys to understand. One of the things I want you guys to know is when you become a winner, you attract winners. When you are a loser, you attract more losers. And I want you to do some self assessment of your circle. How many winners do you have in your circle? If you're the only one in your circle kind of winning, 
You need to change circles, bro. You need to elevate your game. Because I'm here to tell you, you got to start making these decisions. You've got to start doing the right thing. And it's going to be hard. It's going to be tough. But it's going to be so worth it. It's going to be so worth it. And one of the things I want you guys to understand is the power of your subconscious mind. The power of doing it correctly. The power of putting out the appropriate thing. For those of you who want to make better decisions, for those of you who want to level up your life, go below and get in, enrolled in the corporate toolbox. I'm gonna to teach you how to set up a holding company structure. I'm gonna teach you how to make it tax efficient. And more importantly, I'm gonna teach you how to start a business from scratch the right way so you can make money for decades versus just a hot minute. Links below. So that's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next one.